Functional oncology comes from functional medicine and what we're trying to achieve here is to see the patient uh, from a little bit different perspective from what we normally do in conventional medicine in which instead of just looking at the disease, in this case uh, which kind of cancer the patient has, we're looking at the whole structure, in this case the whole, the, the, the patient, the whole patient, in which for us this is equally important as where the cancer is located as well as what's going on in our patient's mind, what kind of food the patient is eating, what kind of environment the patient is surrounded by, and how is that all those things somehow modulate uh, or change or have a toll in the overall uh, constitution or problem that the patient faces. And how that's the way that we act upon the disease. Instead of just uh, targeting the, the cancer, we pretty much attack all the dysfunctions that are happening in the body. So we work we work more with the system instead of the, uh, the disease. Is it true that conventional medicine doctors are likely to be hostile to this approach <laughs> if their patients suggest that they want to take this approach? And if so, you know, what would your comment be to, mm -hmm. to the patient or the doctor about why that should not be the case? In, in conventional medicine, we are very strict. In conventional medicine, we have a I always, I always compare our education to the military kind of environment and uh, we're very strict in the way we treat and whatever falls uh, aside those lines we are very not necessarily skeptic but we're very reluctant to use or, or maybe uh, incorporate in our practice. It is important to understand that medicine goes farther from what we learn in medical school. There's a lot of different disciplines that are, have been there. There's a lot of different therapies that have been used for thousands of years, a lot of years, and that in the latest, in the last years, have been uh, gathering not just enough uh, synergism, but uh, in inertia, that's the word I was looking for, but substantial scientific evidence of how they, they work. So, for instance, every time that I talk about ozone, I get a, a divided response from the medical community. I have doctors who are very well trained and, and know about this kind of treatments, and I have doctors who have never heard of it. And maybe their initial uh, response to it will be not so positive. But um, every single doctor is changing in the sense that we're opening more to this kind of therapies. But yes, we still have those divided kind of response in relation to what we do or of this approach. But uh, at the end, I will say the most important uh, key factor here is the patient, the patient well-being, and the results that we're achieving with them. You called functional medicine the future of medicine. Can you explain that? Yeah, I, I, I think this approach, uh, it's already showing uh, the results. And oh, let me change that by... by, by by telling you that as humans we're more than just organs. Uh, we are just than more the physiology or biology of our bodies, with the blood running in our veins and arteries. Uh, those organs and, and those structures somehow are uh, commanded by, by your thoughts and by, by, by the lifestyle that you have chosen to live. So all those things are as equally as important as how your body works. This medicine incorporates pretty much everything that, that, that is part of you. This medicine really takes a look at the human behind the problem instead of just looking at the problem. And uh, so that's how I believe, or that's why I believe, this medicine is going to become the medicine of the future. It, it, not just to fix the problem, but to get to the root cause of the problem and to incorporate the whole structure of your well-being. What kind of team would the patient work with? That's a very good question because uh, the majority, or let me put it this way, in conventional medicine we're accustomed to go to see the doctor. We're accustomed to go and see one particular patient, uh, person, the best off or the best surgeon, the best. Here is a team of people. We understand that uh, in order to treat these chronic problems, and now we're talking about specifically cancer, but to treat these chronic conditions, it's, it is impossible only to be, to be seen by by one person, or in this case by one doctor. So we're a team. We're a team that consists of myself, who could be considered the director of the orchestra, and behind me uh, relies pretty much any specialty that we require. And uh, along myself, we have uh, clinical nutrition, 
a nutritionist, we have a spiritual psychologist and a, a biological dentist. And all of us together uh, pretty much take a look at the, uh, at the patient to determine what is the exact condition, not just focusing on the status of the main health problem, but pretty much taking a look at the whole picture. And that's how we, we attack. We pretty much work in the different areas that we believe could be behind the overall picture or the main thing that we're looking at. Treatment incorporates a combination of, uh, of different things, of consultations, some therapies, but uh, of course the diet that it's tailor-made for the patient. Specific things as chemotherapy, for instance, are, are, are side because we don't know which patient will, will be a candidate for chemotherapy. We don't know if the patient will go for the chemotherapy or be accepted for the chemotherapy as a possible treatment or radiation. So those are the things that are very difficult to, to put in in a, in a program as an all-inclusive kind of program. So I will say that we start with a basic assessment, something that we can apply in all patients because we see that is this thing that will, that will benefit all of them. And then we take that, we take it from there to be to create a more particular uh, program. As I mentioned, we don't use a one size fits all. Everything is tailor made for the patient's needs, and it's uh, out of that assessment and the team uh, as a, uh, meeting that we do that we come up with with a plan. But in general, again, nutrition, uh, supplements, some treatments such as IV, bioenergetics, uh, are part of this, and of course, consultations. I have never treated local patients. I always treat patients that come from either the States, Canada, or the rest of the world, being South Africa, the latest country that sent, uh, sent us a patient. I have more than 10 years of experience related to this kind of, uh, of uh, modality of treatment. Uh, I was trained by the Institute for Functional Medicine firsthand. I got the opportunity to be uh, trained by, uh, by them for three years and uh, I started to move along that area with bioenergetic medicine as well as hyperthermia, uh, oxygen therapy such as hyperbaric chamber and ozone as well. And we use also a lot of orthomolecular therapy or specifically orthomolecular nutrition which is a lot of uh, the utilization of different nutrients and isolated in different quantities. Uh, nutrition for us is also of essence. And uh, we, I really don't have a number of patients with, we have treated, but we have treated uh, hundreds of patients uh, with this approach. And I can tell you that to this point, we haven't seen a patient who doesn't benefit from this approach in, in some way.